What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC and welcome to our ATV Rear Storage Buyer's Guide. All right guys, so whether you use your ATV for recreational purposes, for work or for hunting, having additional storage is very common and it is very nice to have. You gotta have a place to store your gear, also your food, and you especially need a place to put all your tooling. Now here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we carry a very large selection of storage accessories for your ATV from your top manufacturers. And in this video, we're gonna focus on storage for the rear. We're gonna break down some of our best selling and top picks for rear rack bags and also your hard trunks. We're gonna walk through each one. We're gonna point out why they made it into our top five so that you guys have a great starting point when making that choice on your own. And if you're looking for other storage options for the front, maybe fender bags or tank bags, check out our ATV Buyer's Guide series. We've done a guide to give you plenty of options there as well. So for now, let's sit back, relax, and let's get to it. All right, so the first bag on our list, this is the Ozark Rack Bag from Moose Racing. Now this bag's made out of 600 denier and it gives just over 5,000 cubic inches of storage space. Now here on the outside, up on top, you're gonna have two large storage compartments. You are gonna have a couple of cargo nets here in the back. And then on the front, you're gonna have two additional pockets that are gonna give quick, easy access to a drink or snacks, you know, your smaller items that you're gonna wanna keep in there. Now the main compartment, it's one lid, it's one full lid that folds all the way back. You have two large heavy duty zippers that are gonna keep it closed and on the inside up here on the underside of the lid you are going to have these big mesh compartments to store additional gear there as well and on the inside you are going to have two internal dividers those are removable so it's going to allow you to customize your gear how you want to be on the inside now how this is going to mount up to your rack is very simple you're going to have nylon straps around the entire bag so it's just going to secure right up to either your composite rack or your steel your steel tubular rack and it's going to stay in place extremely well now this bag from Moose Racing, it's been very popular for a lot of years. It's one of our best selling, has a very large high density foam pad to sit on when you're taking those breaks. So just a really solid design from Moose Racing, a great bag. So make sure you go check this one out. All right, so next up on the list is the Art Series bag from ATV Tech. Now this bag is made out of a material called Duratech, which is waterproof. It's also mold and fade resistant, and you're gonna get 4,000 cubic inches of storage space with this bag. If you do run out of storage space, they have nice thick bungee cords along the top of each compartment. That's gonna allow you to strap down additional gear. If you need a place to put your drinks, each side is gonna have one cup holder as well. Now when you're taking those breaks, if you need a place to rest, it does come included with this nice seat pad as well. Now when you're strapping this thing down, you've mounted up to your ATV, it's very simple. Just like that Ozark bag, it's gonna have multiple nylon straps around the bottom, so it's gonna easily secure and stay tight onto your ATV. Now there's a few key reasons why this bag is so popular and why we decided to put it into our top five. And the first one is that this whole bag, it's three compartments that are all separate. Now right now, they're actually strapped together using the Velcro straps that come included, but if you want, you can easily detach these compartments so you can take just the amount of storage space that is needed for your trip. Now the other reason that we absolutely love it is that it's a zipperless design. So each lid on each compartment is held down using four buckles. So if you take these off, and I lift this up for you, you can see there's no zippers. You are gonna get a dust seal along the inside. It's gonna keep out the elements. And now the way they're able to do that and have that zipperless design with those buckles, this is another standout feature about this bag. If you look at the inside of these, each one of these has a steel tubular frame. I put this together myself. It honestly only took about five minutes. It's very simple to do, but it has a steel tubular frame that makes this bag extremely rigid, which allows you to secure those lids down very tightly using those buckles. So the Art Series bag from ATV Tech, very solid design using that Duratech material. You're getting that steel tubular design, so you know it's gonna stay rigid, it's gonna last a long time, and it's also three separate compartments. So make sure you check this bag out. All right, so next up on the list, this is the Honcho bag from Ogeo. Now this bag, it's constructed using three different materials. You're gonna have 1280 ballistic poly and 600 denier in those high wear areas. Then up here on the top, you have another material called tarpaulin. Now tarpaulin, it's a water resistant material. It's just gonna make sure that no water gets into this bag on those rainy days. Now with this bag, we like it because there's a lot of versatility and you have a lot of different storage options with it. Now starting on the top, you have these large bungee cords. Again, that's gonna allow you to strap additional gear to the top of this bag you have this hard molded pocket up here on the top and that's going to open with this weatherproof zipper right here 
Now up here on the front, another great feature about this bag, you're gonna have these two weather resistant bags, these fold over so water's not gonna get into those and they're also detachable. So you can take these two off, they attach very easily, they're actually just held on using Velcro so it really just takes a split second to take them off or put them back on. Another great feature, this right side pocket or this bag here is actually an insulated cooler so that's a great way to keep your drinks and your food cold or warm and you do have this water bottle holder here that is also removable. Now, if I turn this around and we face the back here, this is another key feature of why this bag makes it into our top five. You look, another zipperless design here. You're gonna have two large buckles that are gonna hold this down. If we open it up, no zipper, so again, you don't have to worry about a zipper wearing out or breaking over time, and you are gonna have this dust gasket here around the bottom. Again, that's gonna keep the elements out of this bag. Now on the inside, a lot of storage options. You're gonna have three mesh compartments up here underneath the bottom of the lid, and you are gonna have this weatherproof pocket here. Again, keep your items in there, it's gonna keep them dry. On the inside of the bag, you have one internal divider, and that is gonna be removable, along with a few more mesh cargo nets on the inside as well. Now for mounting, it's gonna be very simple. This is gonna attach very easily to either your composite or your steel tubular rack, and you're just gonna have Velcro straps along the bottom of this bag around the entire outside, so it's gonna secure very tightly. Now a nice touch from Ogeo is they have included a couple D-loops here on the back side, so if you do wanna strap it down even more, you have the option to do that. So that's the honcho bag from Ogeo. Again, you're getting those three high abrasion, high wear materials, very quality bag. Ogeo, they've been in the game for a long time. They know what it takes to make a rock solid bag, so make sure you check this one out. All right, so now we're gonna get into your trunk style of cargo boxes. Now, these are very popular for a few reasons. First, is they give very good impact resistance, so if you did have an accident, these are gonna protect what you have on the inside, and typically, they are gonna be able to hold more storage on the inside. Now, before we get into these, I do want to talk about mounting for a quick second. Now, all of these are going to come with mounting hardware. Most of them are going to come with your U-bolt mounts. So if you have a tubular steel rack, these are going to mount up pretty easily. Just keep in mind, though, that you are going to need to have a drill. You're going to have to drill your own holes for these, but they do have the templates to make that easy. Now, if you're a Polaris guy or if you have a composite rack, I just want to point out there that with these U-bolt mounting boxes, you probably are going to need to do a little bit of modification. So just keep that in mind when you are shopping for one of these boxes. Now with that in mind, this is the Culpin Rear Lounger. This is our first trunk style box. This thing is very large. It holds 6,000 cubic inches of storage space. You have a very nice seat pad here in the front. Now in the back, this is one of the key features that we like it. You're gonna have two latches that are gonna secure the lid down and you're able to put padlocks on those. So if you have expensive items in here, you wanna keep those locked up, it gives you that option. Now if we open it up and we look at the inside, again, there's your 6,000 inches of cubic storage space on the inside. It is large enough, they say, to fit two adult size helmets on the inside of this trunk. So this is the Culpin Rear Lounger. It's a very popular trunk. Again, you have the option to do those padlocks in the rear to lock it up and a ton of storage space in this, so make sure you check this one out. All right, so next up on the list, this is the Weekender from Quad Boss. So this is another hard molded plastic trunk, and it's gonna offer 5,400 inches of cubic storage space. It is gonna come included with your mounting hardware, so that will be in the box. Now here in the front, do wanna point out very large grab holds here. Now this is one of our favorite features of this box. Now when it comes to trunk style boxes, this is gonna be your lazy boy. The seat padding that they have on this thing is ridiculous. It is very, very comfortable to sit in. You probably won't wanna get off of it. All right, so now let's flip this thing around and let's check out the backside. So here in the back, you're gonna have two lids, one on each side. They're gonna be held in place using these bungee straps. They're gonna open up from the rear. Again, there's your 5,400 inches of cubic space on the inside, a lot of storage room. Now this is another one of the key features that we like it so much and that puts it into our top list. Now here in the rear, they actually have a cutout to accommodate a gas can. Now they say it's gonna hold roughly a one to two gallon gas can or a cooler, just depending which one you want. I've actually already measured this. It's 10 inches tall by 10 inches wide and five inches deep. So that is the Week Ender from Quad Boss, a great trunk, very durable, that hard molded plastic, again, extremely comfortable. We consider it the lazy boys of your trunks and you are gonna have that option to put the gas can here. So you definitely wanna check out the Weekender from Quad Boss. 
All right, so the last trunk that we're gonna look at, this is the Polaris Lock and Ride Rear Cargo Box. There's another hard molded plastic box, plenty of room on the inside. We'll show you that here in just a second, but before, the latches, great feature about these. If you want, you can put a padlock on these to lock up your box. And if we open it up and look at the inside, another great feature is on the inside of this lid, you are gonna have this gasket that goes along the entire inside. That's gonna help keep out the elements. And again, you're gonna have plenty of room on the inside to store your gear, your tools, anything you want to. Now, the main reason that this goes into our top, this is gonna be for you Polaris guys out there that have those composite racks. These are actually machine specific and they come with the lock and ride technology from Polaris. So once this is installed, you can actually take this off or put it back on in just a matter of seconds and it makes it very, very convenient. So you're getting that great technology along with plenty of storage space with this box. So that's the Polaris Lock and Ride Rear Cargo Box. Remember, they're machine specific, so just enter the year, make and model of your ATV, and you will see the box that is compatible for you. Check this one out. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out our ATV Rear Storage Buyer's Guide. Now remember, head on over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com, enter the year, the make, and the model of your machine, and that's gonna allow you to see everything that's compatible for your ATV. And as always, remember, anything over 75 bucks is always gonna ship free. Now if you liked what you saw today and you wanna see more of it, make sure you click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's gonna allow you to see our other ATV gear buyer's guides, as well as our other gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we are constantly rolling out. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.